If you think that you have a crazy ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend story, mm -mm, I have you beat. This morning, I was in a parallel universe, also known as the bus. And as much as I need to be done with the bus for my mental health, I have never heard more wild stories in my entire life than I have in the last week and a half. Okay, so when I get on, there is a man that is already sitting behind me. He's a college student, and I know that because he has a backpack in the seat next to him, and he has a beanie that says fob. Full disclosure, I thought legitimately meant like he had a hat for a key fob. Till a man gets on to the next stop and starts walking down the aisle and is looking in my direction, and it's like, what's up, dude? And I don't know this man and my of course natural reaction is to be like what's up he was not looking at me he was looking at the guy behind me he was looking at fob and then he was like cool fallout boy hat and i was like oh my god of course it's fallout boy and not fob anyway so he's like what are you doing on the bus i thought you lived in the dorms for the next 12 minutes and 35 seconds give or take seven seconds i was privy to the most wild ex-girlfriend story i have ever heard in my entire life one day they will write books about this there's in three parts for why the man was on the bus part one he is no longer living in a dorm but as i learned over the summer he broke up with his girlfriend of four months that is it just four months and she was so upset that during the first week of moving into the dorms the very first week he found out what dorm that he lived in somehow got access to it broke in and put raw chicken all around his dorm everywhere how much raw chicken i don't know he didn't give details but it was certainly enough to where the stench was so bad that the dorm was deemed unlivable the university actually had to step in and decide that his dorm was unlivable due to raw chicken as a result i discovered he then had to live with his parents in the suburbs first week of classes he was taking a ride share to campus he can't do that anymore because he no longer has credit cards because she reported fraud by calling his bank pretending to be his mom and saying that the card had been stolen he got a new card she did it again to recap he now does not have a dorm on campus and he no longer has access to banks so his parents bought him like a very old very used car just to be able to commute back and forth but he can no longer use that car because on saturday night she appeared at their house discovered he was using said car and apparently while he was sleeping put concrete mixer in his gasoline tank here's the weirdest part i was legitimately ready to step in and be like i i know some attorneys who can help you right now till his friend was like what are you gonna do and he was like i don't know but i'm seeing her on friday and we might hook up i'm sorry what